Hello guys, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can configure Maven project and manage dependencies into your Maven project. So previously in the initial couple of tutorials, we have seen that you can configure and set up your development environment using Eclipse ID to start your Selenium automation. Now, uh, because of the dependency issues that we have discussed in the last tutorial, uh, we need to work around and find the possible solution for managing those dependencies and finding the best possible way to go ahead and start with the automation project. So Maven comes to the rescue and we can easily manage dependencies using Maven. Now, what we need to do is, as you see the previous project that we created, uh, I manually downloaded this jar file, Selenium server standalone, and um, configured the build path to, to reference to this jar file. And then, you know, I can write my test cases. So if I'm using the Java project, I have to basically, you know, like prepare the whole structure and manage the dependencies on my own and anyone who is using the same uh, you know using uh, this project he has to manage his own uh, dependencies and uh, uh, it's it's a bit tedious to synchronize among the team to uh, you know agree and uh, you know use the particular version of the uh, library that everyone is using so uh, the best way is to have the automated tool or uh, a tool that can manage the dependencies for the team so we have seen all those uh, theoretical concept why uh, dependency management is required in the previous tutorial so uh, now in order to manage the dependency what we'll do is we'll simply create instead of the java project we'll create the maven project so just click on file new and project and here in the maven um, drop down you'll get the maven project right so select maven project click next and uh, i'll use the default workspace location right and i'll simply say create a simple uh, project i'll skip the archetype selection so archetype is nothing but uh, these are the you know uh, predefined templates that you can use for particular projects in maven but uh, for now we'll just create a simple project and see how you can create a simple project and use it in your automation in your organization so select that and click on next now it will ask for the group id so it's basically your corp id so for example your organization name so i'll just simply say com um, dot rcv and then in the artifact id will be your project name so i'll just say uh, selenium um, training okay and then you, you you in the in the version you just leave it to you know like this um, default version there packaging as jar and just click on finish now once you click on finish you will see that the maven project got created so you'll see little little m here if you expand it you will see the structure of the maven project right the simple project that we created using the maven and it's different from what we used to get in the Java project, right? So uh, let's walk through this Maven project and why it is very handy uh, to use Maven project when we are doing the Selenium automation. So if you see the SRC main Java, these are the packages. So these four are the packages. So main uh, Java, main resources, test Java and test resources. So any of your test cases goes uh, into the test uh, slash Java file. Uh, so uh, folder and here you can store all your java files then anything uh, which is related to resources for example you know like your excel file or uh, any uh, csv file that you are using to uh, you know do the data driven testing uh, goes into the resources in the main java and main resources so main java you'll put all the common functionality um, you know uh, java files that you use so for example or your you know utilities and etc so that you can create all the common uh, utilities that you use in your automation script you can put it into the main slash java then in the main resources similarly as the test resources if there are any external resources files that you need to refer you can put it, in, it into the resources and then you can also have multiple you know like uh, structuring there you can create new uh, you know packages below 
uh, your test Java. So for example, if you want to have a package for a specific functionality, so for example, UI, I want to you know create a package. So I'll simply say um, UI and create a package and that gets, uh, you know, a package gets created below it. And below that I can again, you know, create, uh, you know, uh, the file uh, that uh, the test case file accordingly. So I can have multiple packages below uh, test Java. Now you will see that uh, once this Maven project got created, there is, you know, system library, which is referring to the old version, we can change it to the recent version. So I can simply uh, go to the build path and I'll say configure build path. Okay. And then here in the build path, just edit it and use alternate GRE and it picks up the, the installed GRE that we have. Just click on finish, apply, apply and close. Now you can see that the, GR, the J, JDK uh, has been picked up 14.0.1, which is the one that we installed on this machine. Then we have, you know, a SRC folder. Uh, again, if you want to put um, other files there and then target file, you can create more folders there for your reports, etc. The very important file here is the pom.xml, which we'll be using to manage the dependencies in um, your Maven project. Now, previously, what we did is basically to, in order to use this, uh, or in order to use Selenium server jar file or library, we had imported it, right? We had referenced, um, you know, we simply said, right click, uh, went to the build path and we configured the build path and then we imported the library. Okay, so we said add, uh, you know, external jar and then I selected this uh, Selenium server standalone and click on open. Okay, so that's the manual process, but that's not what we want in this case, because if this is the approach that we are keeping, then it will be difficult for everyone in the team working together and managing all these dependencies. So that is why we have created the Maven project and we'll be utilizing pom.xml to manage those dependencies. Now to manage that those dependencies, basically you just need to go to the pom.xml file, right? And you just add the tag dependencies, okay? So as soon as you start typing dependencies, it will uh, give you the option. So just double click. And within these dependencies, what you can do is you can add any libraries that you that your project needs so for example in our case we need uh, selenium server or selenium um, java then we can simply put that dependency here and what the this maven will do is it will automatically uh, fetch all the dependencies that are required um, for the selenium uh, automation similarly if there are any more dependencies for example apache poi that you want to use to read the Excel files, etc. Then you can use uh, those dependencies as well. Similarly, JUnit. So uh, doesn't matter how many uh, dependencies you have, you can add those dependency tag and add the library. So let's see how it can be done. So we'll simply try to add Selenium Java dependency first and how you can find that. We'll simply go to the browser and in the browser, I'll just type in um, Selenium download, okay? So traditionally we used to download or everybody needs to download and set it up. But in our case, because we are using Maven projects, we'll just get the tag. So if you scroll down below, you'll see the Maven information, right? So if you click on this link here, it will give you the default or the, the default Selenium or the Maven dependency that you need to add. Simply copy this whole tag, okay? And paste it into your pom.xml, okay? So this is the default Selenium that we need to use. So what I'll do is I'll just paste it here, okay? And save it. As soon as you'll save it, you'll see that the workspace is building, right? And it has built that. And you'll see that Maven dependencies section is available, link is available, and all the jars that were required have been imported into the Maven dependencies. So that's the only thing you have to add. Now, what is the advantage of this approach? Now, say for example, when you, um, you five people in your team are working and you, uh, you know, each person is working on their specific module and somebody else is using some other version of 
uh, any library in our case say for example selenium java somebody else is using even the higher version okay or 4.0 version which is not uh, which is in alpha phase at the moment then if he checks in this pom.xml along with the scripts that he has you know uh, developed uh, let me open this diagram so for example uh, you know uh, developer B is using different version of Selenium um, uh, web driver and she is coding some of the scripts and by end of day today she checks in the code into github along with the pom.xml then uh, tomorrow if everyone uh, you know um, baselines their code with the latest version which is uh, the, the development practice to uh, get the latest code from the repository and start working um, on that so next day when they have the updated pom.xml then the developer b would have already added that dependency for the jar version that she has used in her in her test case then everyone will get that pom.xml and if that particular jar is available on the local machine that will be referenced otherwise what uh, maven will do is it will go online and download the, those jars if they are not present because it will find this dependency in the pom.xml and this uh, you know reduces or this reduces the risk of breaking the uh, scripts and code when multiple people are working and maintaining all these dependencies manually okay so that's first part of it the second thing uh, is basically so here we went into directly to selenium website to get this maven dependency there is also a maven repository so if you just say mvn uh, repository um, you will get all the you know maven dependencies and repository so it's a rep it's a repository for maven um, for a lot of you know uh, external jars and dependencies so you can simply search here so I can just say selenium Java and this repository contains basically repository for all you know uh, selenium Java JUnit uh, Apache POI so you can search uh, whatever you need uh, into this repository and this is sort of one source of truth wherein you will find you know most of your uh, required uh, information and you don't have to keep googling in different websites to find all that information so here um, you can see I can simply go to the selenium Java uh, whichever version you, I'm looking for so if I'm looking for latest version or even the older version it ha it maintains all of that in this repository so if you simply pick that and copy this tag and paste it in your selenium dependency okay so same way as we did this one you simply paste the other one so this way what will happen is it will download and install those maven dependencies now if we go to you know um, the folder struct and then go to the um, project explorer uh, sorry system explorer show in system explorer and here you can see the structure of the project how it is stored in your uh, machine so you'll have the src folder within src you will have main and test so you have this main and test and then within test you have java and resources and then within main you have java and resources as well so this is how you will go and explore your pom.xml where it is exactly placed on your machine so it's basically when we created this project we anyways provided the uh, workspace where this particular project will be stored and you can see that a new folder got created selenium training which is the name of the project and all the files are being stored here okay so that is pretty much all about the dependency management uh, using maven in eclipse ide so in the next tutorial we'll understand how you can manage the dependency for your um, you know browser drivers as well using maven and uh, how you will you know run your test case without actually downloading all those browser drivers again and again and your team uh, you know can have that synchronized uh, approach and less maintainability in terms of um, maintaining all these dependencies so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching